Okay, so day two. Um, I've not had a coffee yet, and I look like shit. But um, the views are still pretty. Very windy and cold though. Um, I need to get to the uh, main site to get a coffee first. Ah, oh, got tape. Oh, that's the marshal when I get there. That's the So yeah, here we are, this is day two now. So um, we've just had breakfast and stuff. I've finally woken up and Jake has as well. There was an estate house nearby. Um, we made a cooked breakfast and everything else. So I was gonna film, but I thought, nah, people eat breakfast, not disturb them. But uh, I had a cooked breakfast and stuff. Really, really good fun. Uh, you can see the terrain here is lovely. This is actually the car park, but um, over here's the main site. I'll try and get some uh, uh, footage like this on the main site, because it is beautiful. It's fucking awesome. Um, Jacob was wondering what it would be like if it was just mainly woodland and just kind of trees everywhere. This place is filled up. This is like the village, Rift the Village, but um, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Like the down glider, they've got bunkers and sandbags. Everywhere you go, there's always something to hide behind, something to get to and stuff. And it's kind of close quarters, but there's enough for snipers as well. I'm having a bit of difficulty sniping though, because it's just there's so much obstacles, but um, it's definitely doable. But um, yeah, there's 53 people here today, so I've just learned that um, Taz, this is the first time he's done it. And um, He's really, really excited for it. We really want to get off the ground. So there's actually 53 of us today. The so teams of uh, 25, 26, um, and a 50-acre land. So it looks like it's going to be a lot less kind of. It's always going to be like a Milton sort of thing, but now it's going to be properly like two, two team leaders, 25 odd guys. It's looking, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So uh, I'm looking forward to now. It's going to be a lot more tactical team playing sort of thing. Uh, I'm a bit nervous. I've, I've only sniped maybe three or four times. So I'm going to have to get my A game on, but as you can see here, I've got my assault rifle, I've got my sword and I've got my pistol here, so uh, if I need to get a bit closer I can. I don't know if I can see it on the camera, but I've got enough, uh, I've got four high cappers with me, so I'm loading out for pretty, pretty much hybrid warfare, if I need to be somewhere to do something I can do it. Not as heavy as I thought, but unlike other skirmish days I've actually had eight hours sleep and a proper breakfast and everything, so I'm pretty energised for this now. I've got a trail mix in my back pocket because everyone will tell you when you go to the Highlands, you go up to the Cairngorms or whatever, you want some trail mix because that's, that's great. So yeah, we're looking forward to it now. So um, hi, let's get to it.
Right, so here is the main event. We have several objectives. I can't remember them all, to be honest. I remember we had to get four masks, and we had to hold them inside the boat for ten minutes. Yeah, that, that's all I remember. Um, the game day was actually really, really good, but I can't remember what the objectives are. We had so much to do, and the team was only so big to do it. I remember the second half was a lot more uh, easy to remember, but for the time being, let's just enjoy some a little bit of intense action, a little bit of sniping, a little bit of uh, being naughty. So as I pointed out in the previous video, my head camera, the one mounted to my helmet, it hasn't got any holes drilled into it, so the audio isn't perfect, it's actually quite faint. So I'm using my face camera to back up the head camera audio. So it may sound a little bit strange, maybe a tad echoey, but I've lined it up as best I could and it should sound a lot better. Anyway, this is me advancing onto the bridge. We have two objectives over there, which is the two of the masks we had to find. So I'm going towards this sandbag barrier to hold back the enemy while we try and capture these objectives. It takes me a while to get there, and the enemy respawns on top of a hill, which is basically right next to it. So um, this is where it starts getting a little bit tense. Now, despite all the tree cover, it was a very windy day, so you'll see me aiming to the right a lot more than where the target is. I also had issues with my rifle to begin with, so even though it shoots straight, I have to kind of play guess at longer ranges. So no matter how many times I practiced trying to get my assault rifle out of its rig, this was the time it failed. And you even see a BB hit the barrier and roll over me. So I'm under fire trying to get this assault rifle. Uh, I have no idea mate, I'm pinned down currently. Literally all in front of me. Guys, there's three guys, there's three people this way though. So you can't see, but there is a little boat to the right of me. This is where we need to hold all the masks for 10 minutes. You guys move up, I can cover you. There's no one there if you want to move up. There might be one. Due to an easy seeing inside the enemy respawn, I can see where the enemies are approaching. We are actually allowed to shoot enemies at the respawn, which was brought up with Taz because we thought that was a little bit of a flaw. But we were able to engage them very easily. Where I'm aiming now is where the respawn is, which means I can see exactly what's going on at all times. While my teammates go to the boat, try and hold the objective. The enemy is also trying to get to the same boat. Luckily, we have the advantage of being nearby. Oh, I've got people assaulting here, might need a hand. And no, I'm not purposely aiming for heads. I am not that good to be that precise. Oh, Shit, where? 
Oh, fuck, no, I don't, mate. If you can hold them off, I've got this side covered. Reloading. No, I'm not. Ah, uh, right, I'm pinned. Right, I'm moving on the now. That's why I've got an assault rifle. Remember, we have to hold them off for up to 10 minutes, and there has to be at least two players in the boat at all times. This is where it starts getting intense. I'm so sorry dude, I did not mean to hit you in the chin. Oh man. Watch it out! Fuck. I don't know what's got left. Guys, I don't know they're pushing hard here! Hit! Oh, good job! So I thought I'd end the video on that note only because we're hitting the 12-13 minute mark. Hope you guys are enjoying this content and I'm hoping to get the full Tazwell gameplay out in the next couple of weeks before jumping back to the goal and then doing the third day of Tazwell's main event, including the free for all which won us the name on the sword. Let's see who wins. Also as you just saw there, Sniper Joker also joined me in Scotland, so feel free to check out his channel to see his side of things, see what he was doing during Tazwell's main events when he uploads them. Be sure to subscribe to both our channels, hit that bell icon, and leave a like and a comment if you guys were there. Until then, we'll see you all next time.